is Wild Man T7691 continuing a tour of the game room. I also call this the train room in this house because I have a uh, model train. So we're going to start off continuing to go through the shelves here, the last two shelves of my game and system shelf, focusing at this time on some of my Sega Master System. Master System. <laughs> I keep saying Master System. <laughs> it's a new word, but it's Master System. And here is game number one. Ninja. The Ninja. Some gameplay shots there. Never played it. But I'm sure it's a great game. And then, let's see here. I can pull these out a little bit into the light. We've got Thunderblade, which is pretty hard. Kind of like a, uh, almost like a shooter. Almost a bullet shooter. I don't know if they call it that or not. But And then, of course, you got to have Hang On and Safari Hunt. Combo cartridge. That's easy to find. Monopoly. Fantasy Zone, which is a really unique design uh, shooter game. Really brightly colored. We've got Penguin Land. I can't remember what that one's like. Space Harrier. Looks like I have another copy. Oh, that's Hang On and Astro Warrior, so that's why I got that one. And I've got Enduro Racer. And the sports series for the Sega Master System always has great in front of the word. So great basketball, great volleyball. I've got Afterburner and Choplifter. And I do have a few that are cartridge only. And, you know, gotta have Rambo 3. I haven't played that. And Shanghai, which I'm assuming is like Mahjong. And we'll move next to some of my Dreamcast cartridges, which I've just realized I have some in the wrong place, so I'm going to put these in the right place. These have been pretty easy to find at various game stores. I do have a GTA 2. Haven't played it. Got Tony Hawk Pro, Pro Skater. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, a game which, again, I've recently tried to play again, and it just doesn't hold up well. The controls, that was early in the days of 3D game design. Chicken Run, which was graphically probably pretty good at the time. Looney Tunes Space Race, I couldn't get that one to work on my Dreamcast. I don't know if the disc is scratched. They have a lot of flying type games, combat ones, Air Force Delta. And here's another one, Iron Aces, high speed World War II aerial combat. Unlike the slow speed World War II aerial combat. Dinosaur. I really enjoyed that Disney movie, but I don't think I could get that one to work. Honestly, I think there might be something wrong with my Dreamcast itself. Rainbow Six, Rogue Spear, haven't tried that. Literally have hours of gameplay that I have not even touched. Uh, Tomb Raider, Last Revelation. This is one I really do want to play one day. Shenmue. I've seen some Let's Plays on that. It looks really just kind of neat. Ahead of its time. And Sonic Adventure. Which has not been the easiest thing to find. And, of course, I've played other games on the Dreamcast just by burning to a regular CD-ROM. That was one thing that uh, was a bit of a lack of oversight on the part of the Dreamcast, was the ability for people just to use a standard CD. And if you could get the, what do they call it, the ISO or, or something to that effect, if you could get that, then you could make your own... Dreamcast game. It's good now as a collector because if you want to just play something, you can do that. But again, part of being a collector is having the packaging and that sort of thing. Some of my PlayStation 3 games, of course I mentioned in the last video that I picked up this Rocksmith. It was unopened. I got it for $20. And I was really interested in that cable that comes with it. That's a USB cable that connects to a guitar. And... 
I could almost use this PlayStation 3 as a guitar amp. I might even try it in a recording one day, just to say that I could. PS3 games, Batman Arkham Asylum. Did not play that, but I watched my son play it. Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. This was a great set of games on the PS2, so I did buy that set. I can't tell you if I prefer one or the over, uh, over the other. I really enjoyed the Uncharted series. And I've heard that Uncharted 3 is available for download on the PSN Plus network, so I probably will download that. There's Uncharted 2, which I enjoyed as well. I think I beat that one. This is the one I couldn't beat at the very end. I had to run around this room with a shotgun shooting behind me trying to make things explode to kill the bad guy. Red Dead Redemption. This is one of these where like, if I was retired and just had all the time in the world, I would love to just ride around there in the Wild West and play more of that game. Little Big Planet. Don't have the love for the Little Big Planet. I've tried it. Just There's just something about it that I don't enjoy. Prototype. I watched my son play Prototype. And he really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed watching him play it. And, of course, El Shaddai. I have not gotten rid of this one yet, but this was a game that I, I bought to discuss with the uh, Theology Gaming Group and was on a Theology Gaming podcast talking about that game. That game based loosely on the Book of Enoch, and I say loosely... Going into the world of PS2, I've got, uh, what is that? It says, it says Lord of the Rings something. Oh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And I, I do love Lord of the Rings. I haven't really loved these games because they're pretty much just kind of fighter things. But my wife especially loves Lord of the Rings, but she doesn't enjoy video games. Sometimes I'll put that on just so she can hear the actors' voices in a different way and the soundtrack. Psychonauts is a game. I wish I had the original packaging on this, and I probably will one day, because I do think Psychonauts is a, is a collectible game. There's Eco, as I mentioned. Really happy to have that as part of my collection, and I always will. I'll go ahead and get its sister game out. Whoop. My goodness. Destruction of Game Collection. Shadow of the Colossus. This is just been... That was just a great game. I kept this Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I played all the way through that with my son when he was younger, and it's just a good memory for me. And then in the world of the Guitar Hero games, I got the Aerosmith one and Rocks the 80s. I got those really cheap from Blockbuster when they were going out of business. I'm not a Naruto fan, but this actually, my wife had this because her nephew wanted to play the PlayStation 2 that she had. Oh, I have another uh, Guitar Hero 3. Boy, I could not beat uh, Slash on that one. They had sort of challenges. Batman, the video game. I'm not sure why I bought that. I think I already had it on the 360, but maybe I got it really, really cheap. Somebody just told me once that this was a, gr a great game to have for the PlayStation 2, the Secret Weapons Over Normandy. And, let's see here. Katamari Damachi. Uh, what a great game. That's a fun game. The reason why I have Madden Football 2004 is because this was the year that the Panthers, well, 2003, that the Carolina Panthers were in the Super Bowl. So the roster for this game is essentially that Super Bowl team. So it's kind of neat to play with Steve Smith and Stephen Davis and Jake DeLome and all those guys. Sly 2. You know, the Sly Cooper series is really good. I got Sly 2 and I think Sly 1. Beyond Good and Evil, I started to play and it locked up on me. And it was also, uh, my son played it. I think we downloaded it on the 360. Really cheap. And that was a, that was a harder game than I was expecting. I got kind of stuck on some places. I probably could have looked looked it up, but I didn't really feel like it. Rock Band. I don't have the uh, drums for that anymore, but that was fun at the time. Although I really wish I had kind of gotten the uh, the PS3 version or Xbox 360 version for some of the online stuff. I know nothing about Xenosaga, but I've seen it 
uh, he priced a little higher than what I got it for. I got it for four ninety nine. So um, hopefully that was a a good pickup. All right, sliding over. What's next in my merry world? Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Zelda Wanda Gabal Gavalon. Let me say that right. The Zelda Wanda Gamelon. So I've got that for the Philips CDI. And that is definitely a collector's item. Let's see. This says International Tennis. Wasn't very good. This miniature golf game on the CDI was really, really no good. Caesars World of Boxing. Unplayable. Have a couple movies. This was, you know, a big deal back then. That you could play movies on your Philips CDI. So there's uh, Dr. No and Goldfinger. And gotta have a Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. I think I have two of those somewhere. And I do have another Zelda. I wonder if it's in the actual cartridge. Come with me. Come. With... I think I might have been trying to play it at one point. Ha <laughs> ha! Unfortunately, I picked I picked this up without the packaging, but this is Link: The Faces of Evil, another collectible game. And also, it's very awful to play. All right, that takes care of the world of the CDI. I felt like I had more games in that. Excuse me, I'm not doing good camera work there as so I try to put stuff away. Going to the PlayStation 1, Tomb Raider 3, again, special place in my heart for PlayStation, uh, for Tomb Raider. Oh, what do you know? That's Revelation. Let's see if I can just get all these out of the way. I once let somebody borrow place my Tomb Raider 1 and um, never saw it again. Crash Team Racing, great game. Medal of Honor, I just like that because... It's just one of the first World War II shooters, and it's not that bad. Obviously, shooters have come a long way. Gex, again, used to play this with my son when he was little. That little wise-cracking gecko. Championship bass. If I ever need to get a little fishing simulation done, I got it. Rocket Power was not a great game. It's just sort of had a sentimental place for playing that a little bit with my son. A classic... Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, one was two, and this is one. That was a confusing sentence. One was two, and one was one. Driver. This, um, I played Driver 2 and liked it, so I bought this afterward. I could barely get past the training in the, in the parking lot. So they kind of went backwards as far as I'm concerned. But I actually enjoyed playing this game, and I beat it. But it was challenging, that's for sure. Wild Six. Don't oh, did I say Wild Six? <laughs> wild Nine. I'm dyslexic. All right. Hey, another Madden game, and I'm not sure why I have it. Maybe just for reference sake to see how awesome the graphics were back in in the era of 1998. This one I have a little place in my heart too for playing some with my son, where I created a character called Megabyte. I guess now if I was to create him, he'd have to be called Terabyte. Uh, Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. Again, played that with my son. He's back, Frogger. Not a great game, but sentimental. Destruction Derby 2. I have... I just like some racing games where sometimes the focus is actually to crash. So. Here's another Medal of Honor. That was the second one, Medal of Honor Underground. Not as good as the first Medal of Honor. I just picked this up recently at a flea market or a yard sale. I don't know much about it, but uh, it's called Epidemic. I also picked this up, and I don't know if this will one day be valuable or not. Maybe not, but this was like the PlayStation magazine on disc. So, I mean, it, it came with a lot of PlayStations, but it gave you some samples and stuff like that. I've not actually stuck it in to see what it does, but but there's that. All right, I'm just going to leave all this stuff as a mess. Some stuff doesn't have a home yet. These are my boxed 
Super Nintendo games that I've recently picked up. Batman Forever, which has looks like this sat in water. But the cartridge itself does work. Gradius 3, which that was a hard game. A little bit of that that I tried. Blackthorn, which I've heard is a very good game. I remember one time staying at a hotel and they had sort of the Super Nintendo online feature. And uh, that was one of the games. Also, um, Out of This World, which I already had the cartridge for, but I saw it as a box uh, thing and picked that up. Don't have a huge 3DS collection, but there's Steel Diver, Super Mario 3D Land. I do have several other games that are actually uh, downstairs, but they're they're mainly the Nintendo series type of stuff. So, um, Luigi's Mansion, um, the other Super Mario one where they, you gather billions and gazillions of coins, and uh, one other one. The DS collection is a little bit larger with Elite Beat Agents. This is the Master of Illusion one where you could use your DS to do magic tricks. I actually did use it some. Tiger Woods PGA Tour, which was awful. Uh, Mystery Case Files, it's sort of like one of those uh, hunt and peck. Well, not hunt and peck games, but you know where you're trying to find hidden objects. Trace Memory was a game that was uh, it was early in the DS stage and it really used the stylus a lot. You might think it was gimmicky, but it really did kind of take advantage of that and make a unique game experience. Animal Crossing is actually kind of fun. I think that's the one where that guy gets mad at me for not saving my game right. There's Professor Layton in the Curious Village. There's a game called Gunpei, which is a puzzle game. Not the best game in the world. Uh, Super Collapse 3, which is a decent puzzle game. Jam Sessions, that's one where you can play your DS a little bit like a guitar. And let me see if I can show you. I actually, I have a recording somewhere that somebody made where they actually used that to be their guitar. That was a song called um, Logical Conclusion. It's probably out there on the internet somewhere, but that was what was impressive to me that someone did that. So, uh, Hotel Dusk, Room 215, was, was a very entertaining game, but I did not uh, finish it. Now, there's that James Patterson Women's Murder Club. You might think, why did I have that? Well, I was, uh, I was once married to uh, someone named Shannon, and she, she did pass away from cancer, but she really enjoyed those uh, hidden object games. She had a, a DS of her own and played those. Uh, so, that's definitely you know not going to get rid of that just because the special memories there. Uh, I've got Puzzle Quest, which is a great game on many platforms. And Picross DS, which is fun. I think that's the one that had some three-dimensional stuff to it, rather than just 2D. And moving over here, just some more, kind of the simple games. Touchmaster 2, which actually has a lot of decent games on it. I do have, I mentioned that my DS was Mario Kart Edition, so there's uh, the cartridge for Mario Kart. Uh, Brain Age is there, Clubhouse Games, which again just had Solitaire and some other stuff like that. Zookeeper, which is surprisingly fun. Amazing Adventures, The Forgotten Ruins, that was another mystery uh, uh, hidden object game. Crossword Puzzles, there, Crossword DS, and then um, another hidden object game called Mystery PI. I don't have an extensive 360 collection, but... Um, I do have uh, Assassin's Creed not showing right now because I've got that downstairs playing it as well as uh, the latest Tomb Raider. Uh, there's Darksiders though. The 360 I got came with the Batman Lego game and Pure, which Pure was a little more fun than I thought it would be, a, a four-wheeler game. And there's Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 2 Special Edition. That, oh, that was one that was in World War II. That was one too. It was surprising how... Um, how primitive that one was. I mean, they've just gotten so advanced with these first-person shooters. But I got a lot of Call of Duty stuff. Uh, there's Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Haven't played a lot of that, but that's one of those, again, if I was retired and I just had all kinds of time, I would do it. There's Call of Duty World at War, which, again, I have the Wii version. I preferred the Wii version. There's Assassin's Creed 2, Call of Duty Black Ops. There's Modern Warfare 2. Uh, there's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. There's the original Gears of War, which I could not get into, and I would probably trade that in. There's Dead Space. There's a, one that I got that has Marvel Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance and then Forza 2. So I enjoy that. 
There's my a couple of my original Xbox games, Alias, because I kind of like the series, and the game is not even close. And the Xbox sort of really showed its shows its age there. And I also picked that Fable: The Lost Chapters. I must have been able to pick that up pretty cheap. I will definitely be expanding Xbox stuff because I do like it. That's fun. Sometimes it's just a matter of space and storage and stuff. And so we move down now to the bottom row of the shelf. I'll clean this all up later. Probably needs to be organized anyway, right? This is kind of my Zelda corner. So. Here in Zelda corner. So there is Legend of Zelda gold cartridge. Here is the Four Swords Adventure for the GameCube, including the cable to help me plug it into my Game Boy Advance. That was kind of fun, you know, when you would go into a cave and you were using the Game Boy Advance to uh, play with, it would show the inside of the cave on the, on the Game Boy Advance screen. Here's a Four Swords Adventure for the Game Boy Advance as well as Link to the Past. Most people just played Link to the Past on it because you had to use the uh, cabling to connect the Four Swords game. And there is Oracle of Seasons. I, I think you saw Oracle of Ages in my collection before. So this is the uh, sister game. So I do have both of those on cartridge. This is Phantom Hourglass. This is just a little collector thing that I bought as a gift for my son. So it's really his, but it's a little uh, replica of the Master Sword and the shield. Made out of metal. Kind of cool. Got that at Target. This is a Minish Cap, which is one of my favorite games. I really enjoyed that. My son, Werewolf Nate, did a Let's Play of that. Did a pretty good job on it, too. This is a really good game. The Twilight Princess for Wii. And don't love this one. This is Skyward Sword. And it just, I, I haven't beaten it. I'm pretty far into it. It's just hard to be inspired to keep playing that game. I don't know how else to say it. It just doesn't feel like a Zelda game to me. Just There's not the, uh, the freedom to roam. You have certain areas that you can go to. It's just very restrictive. Alright, putting some of this other stuff in a nice little stack there. Alright, now to the world of classic Nintendo. Super Mario Bros. 2. Top Gun, which is supposed to be really hard to play. Ice Hockey. Of course, your classic Super Mario. Tato's Operation Wolf. Donkey Kong Jr. Shoot, I don't have to move these out. I can just look on the shelf. There's Rygar and Spy Hunter. Star Voyager. Original Contra. There's a game called Trojan. And hopefully that wasn't, wasn't a game about safe sex. Um, Super Mario 3. On cartridge alone. Got uh, the Bill Elliott NASCAR game because my buddy Carl really likes it and again called Athena not sure what that one's about again moving toward trying to get stuff in the box now I do have a Super Mario 3 in the box I have a game called Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade with the box a game called Fax Xanadu which is probably a fantasy game about sending uh, letters over telephone lines to people there's a game called Dark Man I've got Gremlins 2 the new batch and I've got Total Recall. Some games are good, some, some are not so good. Now this is my little area called, why did I buy these? These, I don't even have these systems, but uh, in television, I got the boxing game, the sea battle game, again with manuals and even the overlays, uh, Las Vegas poker and blackjack, NFL football, a game called Utopia, which I'd never even heard of before, uh, Star Strike, Apparently I got NFL football twice. If anybody wants to buy that, let me know. There's Astro Smash and Auto Racing. 
and I just couldn't pass these up and the day will come when I will get an Intellivision 1 or 2. These are some games for the 3DO. Again, it's a much desired system for me to find and I know I, I will find one eventually but I've got Need for Speed. The Shockwave um, game is just is like an add-on so I need to find like the original Shockwave for that to work. Man, it's 25 minutes into this video. Unbelievable. A game called Theme Park and a game called Road Rash, which I think is a driving fighting game. I also picked these up. These are games for the 7800, which I don't have, but Karatika. I remember playing that, I think, on the Commodore 64. Galaga and Pole Position 2. So the day may come when I find a 7800. Maybe not. These are actual books I read. I do actually like to read books and go outside. This is just like the bag. I try to be organized. Like here is my bag for Nintendo 64. So it's got the, to the controller and the power adapter. Same thing for, this is for the Atari. Keeping them in their own Ziplocs. Um, this is for the Philips CDI. That horrible controller of theirs. And so on. This one is it's like the Sega Master System, GameCube. So that way when I want to play a game, I just have to grab a bag and it's got everything I need. Now it's not perfect because sometimes I grab one thing. Like I recently went and grabbed the GameCube controller so I could play something on my Wii U. Uh, I bought the Luigi's Mansion GameCube version. I've been playing it on the Wii U. And then this last part here is just a bit of a collection of player's guides. I've, I enjoy looking at player's guides. I know it's a medium that's going away, but it's still fun. I do have Mass Effect 1 somewhere, but there's Mass Effect 2, Red Dead Redemption. There's a Twilight Princess Collector's Edition. Half-Life 2, Shadow of the Colossus, some Zelda stuff there, Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Time, two of those, Majora's Mask, The Wind Waker, uh, something, the Legend of Zelda Collection, that was the one on that GameCube that has Zelda 1 and 2 and, um, stuff like that. There's a Twilight Princess one as well, just a standard one. Star Fox Adventures. <laughs> I got one for Tomb Raider 2 and 3. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory. I think that was a, a, a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, there's one about the Cardiac Cats. Carolina Panthers when they went to the Super Bowl. And then, uh, Half-Life 2. F2, F2, that says maps. That says maps. One's for Xbox. Huh, I don't know. Some, you know, sometimes you pick stuff up, you don't even know that you have it. So there you got it. And of course, the most important accessory ever made for a computer system, the Wii U balance board, which spends most of its time balancing sideways against my bookshelf. Well, thank you very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the magical mystery tour of my game room and sometime I'll show you how I've got my train set up. Thank you.